Today, a micro brand from Japan, and they're called, and how you pronounce it is a little bit tough. So I'm gonna ask a subscriber from Japan how to pronounce it. Give me a moment. Okay, her name is Caroline, and she's from Japan. Kyuo. Kyuo. There you have it. No comments in the comments section about how I pronounce it, because I got it right here. So let's check it out. <laughs> Let's begin. Introducing Kyo Kyoto Old Smith 90001. Look at this beautiful watch. Caught my attention on social media. I'm a little bit of Japanese obsessed. You know, I can see a Lamborghini or brand new McLaren whip by and I won't even look. It doesn't interest me. But I'll see something like this, an old Corolla, and I will feel envy and I'll be like, Damn, that thing's awesome. So definitely have something for Japanese made products. This one, made in Japan, formed last year, 2020. Brand new micro brand and their goal, bring the 1960s vintage style from the Kyoto region, the historic city of Kyoto, to the masses. You get a little bit of Japanese flavor here, made in Japan. We definitely have beauty here. This watch is beauty. This design is a winner. The crown is signed QO and the case is completely high polished. And wait till you see the size. 35 millimeters in diameter. Yup, this one, vintage through and through. Now let's do the thickness, 9.4 thin. So ultra thin, that's with that huge domed sapphire crystal. This one has the sapphire. It's an option for 148 USD. Come standard on a mineral crystal with the same height and a lug to lug of 42 millimeters even. In the olden days, they had smaller watches and back in Japan, Kyoto 1960s, that was no exception. So expect that here. I think because they're trying to appeal to the masses for the world, they should maybe up it to 38. Let me know down in the comments, would you be interested if this was a 38 or are you excited that it's a fresh, a bold decision to make a 35 millimeter true to its roots. Now the strap is 18 mil, genuine leather. It actually feels pretty decent. Quick release, all right. You get this brown one and you get a black one as well. There you can see the case back, Old Smith 9001. A little bit of a strange name, but that's nothing new with micro brands. Made in Japan, five bars, so 50 meters of water resist, completely stainless steel, 316L. All right, and we have here a beautiful crown at six mil. This crown is so flush and so streamlined. Usually when the watch is smaller, the crown is difficult to operate. It's elongated and has a perfect amount of bite to it. Just so easy, which impressed me. I love the design of this crown. If this is from the 60s in Kyoto, wow, you guys know what you're doing. And look at that alignment. Hands aligned perfectly. Even the second hand is hitting the marks on the major hash mark. So well done there. Unfortunately, the hands are painted blue. The dial is aluminum. The base material has a beautiful pearlescent sheen to it. Maybe that's the sapphire helping out, but it does look beautiful. And the applied indices are faceted they catch the light with a little gap and then pearls on the chapter ring on the printed chapter ring now we do have the small seconds hand here with the seiko movement vd 78 a all right and uh, you're gonna get plus minus 20 seconds a month and a three-year battery roughly now the price on this watch 205 usd on the mineral crystal you add the sapphire for 148 and you're getting into a little bit of a pricey situation for a quartz, but it is Japanese made and beautifully styled. I'm going back and forth on the price because we can get affordable quartz from Casio, from Seiko, but they don't look this good. I think definitely you're gonna be happy with it. If you love that small watch vintage aesthetic, yeah, I think the 200 is fine. I say go for it. It's so beautiful. 
Let's compare it to the new 38.5mm Seiko Pro Diver. Look at that. Because of that all dial look, it might wear like a 38. Let's see. I'm going to put it on my wrist after this. I'm just going to compare. Look at the thinness on that. And there you can see that lug to lug. All right. I know not many people have this new watch. I'm definitely thinking of picking up one of these ultra slim divers, grab and go watches. Aesthetic is phenomenal on the wrist. Here it is on my 6.5 inch wrist and I'm leaning far back doing some gymnastics for you guys, making sure you see the full perspective. This is a 35 millimeter, 42 lug to lug. And yeah, look at that 6.5 inch wrist. And I'm blown away that I can wear this it actually fits pretty good. Maybe a tad small, but once you get used to the small size, it's hard to go back to big watches, man, ultra lightweight and comfortable. It's just so pretty. Let's do the weight. 37 grams. Okay. So it's like you're wearing nothing. I believe that's lower than a G-Shock in weight. So, yep. Okay, guys, there's going to be no time grapher. And yeah, there's no loom. Just double checking. <laughs> All right. So that is an introduction to this new brand with their first watch. I believe this is the first watch, the 001. They have the 002 and it's mechanical. Check that one out. That one looks cool. And you can get this one with Arabics. So excellent design from Kyoto, inspired by the 60s. What do you guys think of this brand? Let me know down below. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.